So before we begin, make sure you go over to view and for explorer properties and toolbox. Once you've got the model, it'll appear into your library or inventory. Go into here and then go to loading GUI v2. Click on it, click OK, and then it'll be inserted into Explorer. Then what we can do is we can drag the loading GUI into storage GUI. We can drag asset folder into replicate storage, and then we can delete the folder that came with it. Now, when we insert it, this is what will appear. Now, what we can do is we can click on this screen GUI that enable to false, and then go inside and go to settings. And then this is where you can configure everything. So asset folder, you can change this to a custom location if you want to. If you put asset folder in like workspace, then you can load it inside a workspace. Like if it's in workspace, and we'll just replace the service to workspace. And if you have a custom name for it and it's in replicate storage, we can do like just assets folder. So we have an extra S, so then we can just put in an S right here. And then that's configured. That's basically all that is. So skip button, this is if you want to let the player be able to skip the loading. You can enable or disable this. If you want to enable it, just change this to true. And if you want to keep it disabled, just leave it like that. Then we have loading bar. Uh, this is just a little bar. And then we have the top text, which is this red text. Then the bottom text, which is the blue text. Uh, the background image is basically just a little image in the background. So I'll we'll find a quick image and then we'll insert it. So I found my image, so I'm going to replace the ID right here. So top text can be the name of my game, so I'll just put sword fighting. And if you don't want to use bottom text, then you can just, just leave it blank like that. But you can also put something in if you feel like it. So I'll then randomize text. This was a requested feature for the um, old loading screen, so I added it in. So if you want to disable it, just set this to false. Then you can customize the text over here, and if you want to add another one, all you need to do is just copy that, paste it in and we're putting some new randomized text so there's your randomized text and if you want to add more like i just said boom now everything is pretty much done now don't set enable to false make sure you just go to main canvas and then set visible to false so now in the assets folder uh it's empty right now so we need to put something in the assets folder so i'm just gonna get a car so i'll put this in and i'll enable the skip button there we go we can go ahead and play test so once we're in the game we have our background image the text bottom text the skip button the randomized text and the loading bar we can go ahead and skip and then it'll tune away and it'll go to our character yes thank you for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial goodbye